Hi everyone, my name is Tasia and welcome back to my podcast, Spider Relax. I tell exciting stories from many Indian epics, so stay curious and trek beyond. Today's story is the follow-up to the sons of Ambika and Ambalika. The story I will tell you today is called Quarrel for the Throne, Pandu vs. Dhritarashtra. In this story, I reveal Bhishma's super simple plan to get a king on Hastinapur's throne. Let's go! The children born to Ambika, Ambalika, and Ambalika's maid grew into brave and fearsome warriors. The problem though was that the eldest son, Dhritarashtra, was blind, the second eldest, Pandu, was born unhealthy, and the youngest son, Vidura, was not a Kshatriya. So Bhishma decided to let Pandu rule as long as he lived and then pass on the throne. But Bhishma would make sure that Pandu had children. On the other hand, Dhritarashtra was not happy that his younger brother got the throne. No matter how many times Dhritarashtra was told that a blind person didn't have the right to sit on the throne, even if he's the oldest, he would always complain. When he was old enough to become king, Bhishma crowned Pandu, the king of Hastinapur. A year or two down the lane, Pandu went to a Swayambara. It was the Swayambara of a beautiful maiden called Kunti, also known as Sprita. Kunti walked down the Isle of Princess but stopped at Pandu. Kunti garlanded Pandu and they were soon married on an auspicious state. A little while later, Pandu also asked Madri, a warrior princess, to marry him. Two reasons. One, because he loved her, and two, for a political alliance. Pandu ruled wisely with his two wives, Queen Kunti and Princess Madri. Pandu ruled the kingdom of Hastinapur for only a few more years before he died. Pandu died because of a curse given to him by a sage. Let me tell you that story. One day, Pandu decided to go hunting in the forest with Kunti and Madri. After a long search, Pandu thought he spotted a deer and shot his arrow at it. Suddenly, the deer turned into two people, a sage and his wife. The sage began crying out in pain as Pandu hurried over to realize what he had done. The sage was called Kindama. Kindama cursed Pandu that whenever he tried to mate, he would instantly die. Pandu decided not to rule with the curse and retired to the forest, leaving Dhritarashtra to temporarily rule Hastinapur. Realizing he was childless, Pandu asked Kunti and Madri to have sons using a special mantra that Kunti knew. Kunti used her mantra and invoked Yamadharmaraj for a son. Yamadharmaraj blessed Kunti with the most righteous son and named him Yudhishthir. Next, Kunti invoked the wind god, Vayu, for her second son. Vayu blessed Kunti with the son as strong as a thousand elephants and named him Bhimsen, commonly known as Bhima. For her third son, Kunti invoked Indra, chief of gods. Indra blessed Kunti with the sun with amazing archery skills and named him Arjun. After having three sons for herself, Kunti taught Madri the special mantra. Madri used the mantra and invoked the Ashwini Kumars, who were twin gods, for two sons. The Ashwini Kumars blessed Madri with sons of one which was super intelligent and the other of which was very handsome. The Ashwini Kumars named Madri's sons Sahadev and Nakul. With five children to take care of, Pandu could not resist being away from his wives anymore. Pandu had just woken up from a deep meditation and irresistibly hugged Madri. The moment he did that, he died of the curse given by Sage Kindama. What do you think happened after Pandu's death? Oh, and here's a little heads up for everyone. The youngest Pandava was not Sahadev, it was Nakul. A lot of people confuse that, even I did at one point. 
That's it for this week's episode, but stay tuned because I have one of my favorite stories coming up next week. Don't forget to turn on the post notifications and follow me on Twitter and Instagram. See you next time. Always trek beyond.